however, we have number of applications are there, but we will discuss one more application that is the sixth application that is halogenation of halogenation of alcohols, especially the reagent like ROH when treated with a reagent called HCl in presence of this should be a concentrated concentrated HCl plus anhydrous means a box app showing zinc chloride. This is called anhydrous zinc chloride. Anhydrous means what a no water containing anhydrous zinc chloride and concentrated HCl mixture. This reagent is also has a, a common name called a Lucas reagent. The reagent is called Lucas reagent. So, whenever alcohols are added with Lucas reagent, the alcohols are becoming into the alkyl chlorides, right. Uh, then the OH and the H forms into water. That is the overall reaction. So, the Cl is coming in the place of OH, so RCl is formed. HOH goes out as a water, you can balance the reaction in fact in which we can understand zinc chloride is only a catalyst because it is not participated in the main reaction. But the mechanism if you see what exactly the reaction goes through the mechanism is first HCl reacts with the zinc chloride itself. The zinc chloride has a vacant orbital therefore, it takes the Cl minus temporarily and forms into the ZnCl Cl 3 minus and liberates the H plus. So, even uh, without zinc chloride also HCl can open into plus minus and the plus will be adding and minus will be reacting. But in presence of this anhydrous zinc chloride which has a vacant orbital accept the Cl minus readily and becomes into Zn Cl 3 minus and uh, H plus 3 because it is Lewis acid holds this uh, basic part or the Cl minus part and the H plus is released. That H plus is going to react with the ROH, it shows a, a protonation. H plus attacks on the O and you will get a protonated alcohol is formed, right. So, a protonated alcohol undergoes a loss of water minus of H2O. So, this R will become into R plus. So, this is what uh, your intermediate species in fact. So, in the alcohol to alkyl halide, what is the intermediate species? R plus. On the R plus, eh, the Zn Cl 3 minus again donating the Cl minus, that minus will attack and you are getting the alkyl chloride, that is the final reaction. When once the final reaction is completed, the RCl formed has got one property, it is insoluble. So, therefore, insoluble means eh, if it is solid, you will get all precipitate. But unfortunately, this RCl is not a solid, it is a liquid only. The other liquid medium is aqueous medium in which the organic medium is not soluble. Therefore, it is coming out as a some suspension or turbidity was the used terminology here. A turbidity is formed. So, the moment RCl is formed because of the non-solubility of the RCl in the remaining aqueous solution, this is all aqueous solution, zinc chloride, HCl, ROH, all this will be soluble and only one layer. When RCl is formed, this is insoluble, therefore, you get a turbidity. Now, the criteria is here, I will take three different types of the alcohols, all will give the turbidity because all are going to give the alkyl halides. But if I take a, an alcohol of a what type it is, tertiary alcohol I have taken added this same Lucas reagent. So, tertiary alcohol passes through what? Tertiary carbocation, right. So, tertiary carbocation formation is very, very stable it is. So, therefore, the reaction formation is also time required is 0 minutes, okay. And the when once the carbocation comes, uh, second attacking species is Cl mine. This is an ionic reaction. All ionic reactions are time is 0 minutes. So, first step is step 1 is 0 minutes because it is stable. Step 2 is 0 minutes because it is ionic reaction. So, finally, tertiary alkyl halide is formed, tertiary alkyl chloride is formed. Net time that is total time I will write here, the total time required is also 0 minutes only because 0 plus 0, 0 only. <laughs> 